but we don't exactly know how many are going to turn out on election day because we've broken all records up until yeah. now. At one point, one point to what Van was saying, just in terms of people voting against Donald Trump, this has to be a concern for Hillary Clinton in states like New Hampshire and Pennsylvania, where there are or there isn't that large Hispanic population, and you can't necessarily count on just voting against the other guy to energize turnout on election day. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, we talk each year uh, about about so concerned that American voting you know, numbers aren't what they should be. This year, to Scotty's point, we look we're going to have a record turnout. It could very well be. The problem is it's going to be a negative way, but so many people who are coming out are voting to stop the other person rather than simply support their own candidate on the policies. That's a different kind of problem than we've faced in the Well, past. when it comes to turnout, too, one thing that really matters, right, we're talking about African-American community, we're talking about Hispanic community, is, is young people, right? Mm -hmm. They were fired up about Bernie Sanders. They do support, in every poll, Hillary Clinton, but that doesn't mean that they actually care enough to go vote for her, right? There's a big difference. That's part of the reason why she was with Jay-Z last night, part of the reason she's with Katy Perry tonight. Um, Jay-Z, Beyonce, uh, Katy Perry, let me just go through some of the other names that she's, she's reaching out to. LeBron James, Jennifer for Lopez, Miley Cyrus, right? This is all trying to get at that cross section kind of diversity. Of awesome. <laughs> but she's got James. <laughs> she's got a music awards. Oh, if you want to do a music awards, great. What about the American Bands? Bands? Program and she's got James Taylor in New Hampshire, so that kind of that uh, looks right. perfectly good. Right. Right. That is true. Right. Right. You know, this is how uh, the hit flicks. <laughs> She also has President Obama at the University of Michigan, which, you know, is, has a crappy football team, but I have to get I'm a state of. fan. I have to. Here's my my niece texted me the other day, and she said the majority of college students are voting absentee. They're not voting there in those districts. So people are just assuming, like North Carolina, that within the, the triangle there, that those students are voting in North Carolina. A lot of those students are absentee ballots from other states that will not be necessarily counted until the very end if there's a need for them to be, okay. to be involved. Hillary Clinton had to, uh, with millennials, overcome two problems. One is all the heartburn from the Sanders race. We can talk about that. But there's another problem, which is that Obama himself was just so cool. And so there was a coolness factor to voting for him. Hillary Clinton is not cool. She's, you know, she's, a, ner she's a good nerd. She's a policy one. But there's no, there's no cool factor to that. Except for her pantsuits, as she the herself pants jokingly are, says. Now everybody's got a pants. I'm going to get a pantsuit. But, <laughs> but what she has been able to do, I think, over the past several days in the past week, when you have Funny or Die coming out with, with really great stuff, you got the great memes going on, you've got these great stars, it's becoming a little bit cool now to be for Hillary Clinton, and that's important for her. And so that, and to that front, let's just play her ad, right? Donald Trump put out this two-minute uh, clip making his case in the final hours. We played that last hour. I want to play what Hillary Clinton put out today. This is an ad airing in 11 states, mostly crucial battleground states, and this is Katy Perry. I got the eye of the tiger. Effective, Jamie. Who, I mean, who, this going to get? And I were up? dancing before the cameras came came back on. Yeah. And, and you forgot to mention she has Cher in Florida and John Bon Jovi in North uh, Carolina. Far, sure. Look, I, <laughs> I think it's very interesting what we're seeing in Michigan, where you're seeing the polls tighten. And let's remember, Bernie Sanders won Michigan in the primary. Yep. There are states with problems, but I want to go back again to the state of Florida. She's doing a little bit better than expected in Florida because of that Hispanic vote, because of Puerto Ricans, which have become, they're about to be more Puerto Ricans than Cuban Americans in Florida. They vote. They vote Democratic. Uh, demographic, Democrats. demographic math matters enormously. We did it in 2012. You know, what the pro Republicans' problem with Hispanics were particularly pronounced in 2012. Romney only did 27% of, of Hispanic vote. But George W. Bush got 40. So this is part of a larger problem that Donald Trump has really just sort of really capped. Th that ad by Hillary Clinton, to, to your earlier point, I think is enormously effective for three reasons. One, it's actually inspirational. Inspiration has been something missed from the campaign. Two, it draws on on a pop culture reference, which gives a sort of halo effect of what hipness. Would and, saying, and, a yeah, would factor. And third, it shows in, in, in the interspersed clips of different points in her career, it makes a point about her commitment to public service over a long period of time. So I think those three things make it the most effective ad for and, her. And website. the campaign has done a very good job. I would disagree there. I think the most effective ad of the campaign cycle was her uh, the daughter's ad. Absolutely. Um, I thought the daughter's ad, Dave had a, Dave had a, and I, what I was going to say is that ad also I felt like really targeted women. Uh, a lot mm -hmm. of the shots were of women. A lot of the shots were of her with women. And they've done a very good job of targeting that part of the, of, of, um, the vote 
that Hillary Clinton really has uh, um, has maintained. And she's, she's targeting women, and obviously, effectively so. Yes. Donald Trump is trying here. In the final few days, we had Melania Trump give a speech the other day. Melania Trump was on the campaign trail with her husband today, trying to humanize him, make him uh, seem softer in the crucial battleground state of North Carolina. Here's what she said. Donald is a wonderful husband, father, and grandfather. He's strong, he's determined, bold, and decisive. He's also compassionate, thoughtful, giving, and loving. Donald cares. Effective, Patrick? Uh, yeah, I thought I thought it was a nice move that he went over there. That there seemed to be, you know, some some chemistry, sir, sir, some <laughs> affection. The word I'm struggling for. <laughs> Affection and it was it was nice. It just felt. I mean, th this is a side. You know, Donald. Look, Donald Trump has gotten in his own way so much during this campaign. But uh, you know, the side of him that has sort of a sense of humor that is can be improvisational. That can feel like a real person as opposed to is sort of a more robotic. Something spontaneously. Did you say sweet? It was sweet. He did something spontaneously that wasn't mean to anybody. So it was <laughs> doubly wonderful. Time, but here, here, here. He has a soft spot. He does have a, a very much. <laughs>